Hello, this is Mike, NoStressMike.com. I want to talk about uh, uniforms, uh, for, especially for the three-man militia, uh, or militias in general. Um, uh, I haven't figured one out yet, uh, and uh, I want to throw this out. I'm just sharing ideas in which that's what we do. We share ideas. Uh, uh, it could be uh, something as simple as a bandana, uh, we look like Crips or some, some kind of gangs or something like that. And that's what a militia is. It is a gang. But the only difference is we're a, uh, an organized gang and we have morals. Morals don't stop us from doing what we have to do. Morals are what gives us the strength to do what we have to do. And uh, we need some way to tell us apart. And so it could be something as simple as a bandana. Uh, either around your arm or around your head. Uh, myself, uh, I am uh, looking, I haven't been able to pursue it quite yet, but I'm still looking at using a poncho for uh, a uniform. And that's because anybody can wear whatever kind of clothes they want, and you just throw a poncho on, and then bammo, uh, we know what's going on. Uh, the poncho itself, uh, most everybody's got a poncho. Uh, you will need one if you don't have one, if nothing else, for the rain. Uh, and if you ever have to stand out doing uh, guard duty or uh, uh, having to do anything outside, you know the value of a poncho. Uh, it's, so far, nothing has beat a poncho. Uh, they got a lot of good rain gear out there. But uh, a poncho will cover. And uh, like I say, when you get when you're wearing a poncho, it, it's good in any type of weather. It'll keep the sun off of you, keeps the rain off of you. Uh, I've just got a wool uh, poncho, and I couldn't believe how warm it was. Now, uh, the one problem I have with this particular poncho is oversized. It's huge, and you can use it as a blanket. I mean, that's one thing I really like about it. But the, the one thing I uh, is, is it's good. It's big. It's big. It's bad. It's big. Uh, but like I say, uh, it, uh, it does cover a lot of stuff. And uh, you can uh, wear it as you're fighting. You, you, uh, you can put a rope around it or something, uh, a belt or whatever. You can use a, a combat belt, you know, uh, like a duty belt type stuff. Put your gun on it on the outside if you want to show it. If you don't want to show it, you just have this uh, uh, poncho laying over you. And what, uh, what's under that poncho? is my business. And you don't want to know what's under that poncho. Or you can, and I'm still in the process of uh, the techniques, the tactics used with a poncho. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm still working on it. Uh, but like I say, and that's something that anybody can come up with. You can use old sheets, old uh, blankets. Uh, you can use about anything. So it's inexpensive and it, it's uh, effective. Uh, but like I say, so we need some type of uniform. And uh, you might even have a certain uniform, like uh, certain shirts would identify, uh, they do another type of job. You know, uh, like I say, they're into uh, the gardening militia wearing a t-shirt, <laughs> you know, green t-shirt. They're the gardening militia, you know, the, the cooking staff you know, cooking militia, you know, they'll be wearing white t-shirts or, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but I say, uh, when it's time for everybody to do their job, they can all throw on uh, a poncho and grab their weapons and take their position. And uh, we can come up with an, uh, a well-armed militia very, very quick. So uh, uh, think about uh, uniforms. Uh, I say, uh, um, I've been also been looking at the that um, thing, that scarf around the head, and all kinds of stuff. But there's there's all kinds of things out there. But get your three man militia uh, to figure out what they're going to do, so you guys can work and then uh, you know practice with it. See how well your uniform works. Is it a seasonal uniform or or what? All right, thank you. This is Mike, no stress Mike.com.